So diving in, what we're going to do is start with gathering some papers, some little bits of ephemera, anything that you might want to use to basically create the ground, the pages of the reflective art journal that you'll be making. So you might want to think neutral colors, but you don't have to. You're just going to collect any kind of paper that you want to glue together and create pages with. And you get that all ready and have a template, which is I don't remember the exact size. It's basically the writing on the PDF of the, the day pages with the lines. And what I'm doing here is ripping off the excess and getting it to be the size that I want it to be. And I'm going to use a standard size and build each page, collage paper page, to be the same size as the next one, roughly. As you'll see, I am hardly exacting. And part of that allows you to free up and to let go and just kind of rip and tear and glue and um, create as you're going, which allows you to explore things like line and composition and um, get into a flow and find what sort of things you like and how you piece it all together. There is no right way. It's just sort of allowing yourself to fall into the creative process and going with that, which you can count the pages as part of your creative exercise for the day and allow yourself to reflect on that more. And um, at the end, you'll have these pieces of paper which will become the ground on which to create your journal and it's incredibly satisfying and feels so wonderful if you're a paper nerd like me and um, and this I consider to be part of the process the putting it together the looking how the different pieces interact one next to another how that changes how it feels and how it looks and what you can do with it and um, eventually we will assemble these together into uh, one book or however you want to do it really it's it's your journal you can keep the pages loose or um, I can show you a way later on how to um, create them into a bound journal so the idea is to explore to have fun, to find what you're drawn to, and get into making and doing and the creative flow that is accessible for all of us at any point in time and is highly rewarding. And then with that, we'll next go into actually using this as your reflective journal.